at a lavish showing of her raucous new film, Poor Things, on Thursday at the Barbican Centre in London, Emma Stone looked amazing on the red carpet. The 35-year-old actress, who plays a figure in the Frankenstein-inspired film that enjoys an apple, looked stunning in a daringly plunging silver silk gown. Emma wore the dress, which featured unique asymmetrical seams and a sheer section to protect her modesty without a bra. The Oscar winner finished off her look with a striking blue crepe cloak that flowed naturally over her shoulders. She accessorized her look with a bold pair of diamond earrings and matching heels to give even more sparkle. Co-stars Mark Ruffalo, 56, and Willem Dafoe, 68, who were both dressed in fine suits, joined Emma on the red carpet. The actress is favoured to win Best Actress for a second time, following La La Land in 2017, following her incredible performance as the fearless Bella Baxter in Poor Things, for which she has already received a Golden Globe nomination. It is anticipated that Yagos Lantimos, who previously directed Olivia Colman in The Favourite, will receive a nomination for his highly inventive movie. There are more than a dozen graphic sex scenes and a ton of profanity in the image. Shortly after the film's premiere at film festivals, there was a whisper campaign against poor things, with some claiming that the film's early usage of the term retard was problematic. Similarly, Stone's portrayal of Bella during the first phase, following the substitution of her unborn child's brain for her own. The actress's closest rival for the Oscar for Best Actress is perhaps 65-year-old Annette Benning, whose most recent film, Nyad, also had its Telluride debut. The film chronicles the adventures of 64-year-old marathon swimmer Diana Nyad, who made it from Cuba to Florida. Sentimental favorite Benning, an Oscar nominee four times, but never a winner, would be. Stone's first significant movie role since Cruella in 2021 is in Poor Things. The official Poor Things trailer disclosed that Bella Baxter, the character portrayed by the actress from Arizona, died by suicide and was raised from the dead by her guardian, Dafoe's character Dr. Baxter. The men in the teaser are confused by Bella's strange behavior, and Baxter explains that her head and body haven't been in sync ever since he revived her. In a Searchlight Pictures Bella profile, Stone observed, Men seem to be more challenged by Bella as she grows more independent. I wanted to play Bella because it felt like acceptance of what it is to be a woman, the actress disclosed. Further expressing her appreciation for Yorgos, the actress said that he gave me a gift for making me a producer on poor things. It has allowed me to have access to the entire process that I would not have if I were only performing in it, she remarked. It seemed like the ideal amalgamation.